Hello, I'm Tutti Grand Juice La My Poisson V, and this is the fundamentals of the King of Instruments or the pipe organ. The pipe organ behind me is a wind, a string, a percussion, and a reed instrument. It's a whole band in one giant mass of metal and wood. The sound of this behemoth is made by air going through each individual pipe. The air is produced by a huge fan called a blower, which is probably as big as I am, somewhere away from the pipes, because they are loud. The air is channeled into what are called reservoirs. Reservoirs are used to pressurize or depressurize the air according to the size of the pipe. The top of the box is surrounded by expandable cloth that doesn't breathe very well, so that when the top is expanded, to its maximum that the pressure is low and when it's not expanded at all the pressure is very high. The air is then sent to what is called the wind chest where the pipe is sitting. The air that is in the wind chest then waits for what is called the pallet to open so that the air can travel into the pipe and have it speak like so. Now on to the physics of the pipe organ which is a whole different world. We will start small. First, the sound. The sound is produced by air vibrating across the resonator. The longer and wider the resonator, the deeper the sound produced. These vibrations create waves which then produce a sound. The number of waves per cycle, which is usually a second, is called frequency. Thus, higher frequencies produce higher pitch sounds and vice versa for lower pitch sounds. At some point, a node is produced in a sound wave. A node is where two or more waves cross each other and cancel each other out. This process is vital to an organ builder who has to build a pipe organ in a small space. This node point is used in what are called stopped pipes, which are usually exactly half of its open equivalent. The pipes are cut to the node point and a stopper is placed exactly at the node. This causes a reflection effect and the sound produced is of the same pitch, or octave.